These microphones are the second generation of the legendary Mod Mic. So there's been some significant upgrades. Basically what these microphones do is turn any headphones or audiophile headphones into a gaming headset. And if you're a VR user, let's face it, VR microphones are not that great. So these microphones can significantly upgrade the quality of your VR experience. You can also attach these to any flat surface if you just need a mic. So I'll set these up and test them out in this video, but first let's talk about the differences between these. The Uni 2 is very versatile because it has a 3.5 millimeter jack so you can plug it into anything. The USB 2 has a USB A connection but they also include a USB C adapter if you prefer to use that. They both come with carrying cases for travel. What you'll notice is that the 3.5 millimeter Uni 2 comes with a rubber case and the USB version comes with a fancier cloth case. The Uni 2 is basically over a decade's worth of development of attachable microphone technology. This has a Uni direction noise cancelling mic which has been upgraded from the previous generation. The steel boom is flexible so you can move it to where you want and if you move further down it uses a powerful magnetic clasp system so you can see there's a 3M sticky backing which you can attach to anything and this magnet will allow the microphone to just connect to it. So it's really easy to install this wherever you need to and the good news is they do include additional items like an extra magnetic clasp, 3M stickers, wire clips and they include an alcohol wipe to prepare where Wherever you're going to stick this to. It has a high quality cord and both of these mics come with a two year warranty so if anything goes wrong within two years you'll be fine. What I like about these microphones for gaming is that they both have a mute switch so the Uni 2 has a physical inline mute switch but if you have a game console or you're using a phone or a tablet they do recommend that you get a Y adapter from their website which has your headphone jack and your mic jack. What really makes the USB version of this microphone special is that the first first generation had two modes you could use. The first mode was a unidirectional microphone mode for noise cancellation, and the second mode was an omnidirectional microphone to increase the quality of the mic. But this second generation microphone combines both of those modes into one with a new microphone capsule and housing design so you don't have to choose between them. It's also worth mentioning that the USB 2 delivers a professional microphone quality through a noise rejecting cardioid pickup pattern, which basically means this is the most advanced mod mic they've ever made. And like I mentioned, if you're a VR user, the Quest 3 just put out an update where you can use the USB port for external mics. So obviously this would be a huge mic upgrade for that. Now they do have a wireless mod mic, which is very popular with VR users, but it's not a part of the mod mic 2 updates. The USB mic has similar features like the adjustable boom and the magnetic clasp, and also has the high quality wire, but the mute switch is a little different. It has a button for digital mute. So to test these mics out, I just have a pair of HyperX Cloud Alphas here that I'm just going to stick the magnetic clasp onto. Keep in mind that this headset is not going to affect the microphone quality at all because you can stick these to anything. I mean, it really is as simple as that. So right now I'm using the Uni 2, which I have plugged directly into my camera. And you can tell it just has a very good mic quality. I just stuck it on the side of my headset here and it's coming right out by my mouth. It actually picked up my voice so well that I had to turn down my mic sensitivity on my camera itself. And that leads into something very important that you should know. Because it's a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary, the unidirectional mic has noise canceling. It's very high quality. But if you plug it into different things, you might get like different mic qualities and it's not the mic itself it's the device you're using but that's just kind of the trade-off that you get with having a microphone that's so versatile where you can just plug it into whatever but I'm using a Sony ZV-E10 and the sound on that I know is pretty good so if this doesn't sound good plugged into the camera then that's not a good sign but even recording right now I just know in advance it's going to sound good what you'll notice about the mic is that wherever you clamp it onto it'll only reach out so far so it won't go to the front of my mouth but as you can tell it's picking up my voice just fine you just might want to keep in mind that it's not very adjustable now you can adjust it like this sorry if I'm creating any extra noise but that's pretty much all the adjustment you get and if I take it out of the magnet for example and move it up to the next notch so it clamps back in you can see that it's pretty high and if I just go down once 
it'll bring it right back down to where it was. So there's really only one place you can put it. So I just want you to know that if you do get one of these, it'll be off to the side a little bit. Another thing to note is that because this has its own wire, you'll have it going down next to your headphone wires as well. But that's why they include these little clips. So you can just clip them together. So that'll just keep things a little more tidy and your mute switch will be right here. I'm also going to test this mic switch right now. I'll turn it off and I'll tap on the mic a bit and stuff like that. I promise I will not edit this in any way. This is just exactly how it is. So I'm going to mute it in three, two, one. I got this turned back on now. Basically what I was saying was I can see that there's no volume indicator when I was talking, but when I tapped on the mic and moved the wire a little bit, I could see there was like a little something. So when I put this video together later, I'll see what that sounds like. But it should work fine for muting your voice if you need to take a phone call or rage quiz. Now I'm using the USB 2, but I don't have it hooked up to my camera. I'm using the software Audacity to record myself, and I have it set up in Windows as 40 48,000 hertz. So what you'll notice about the mic is it has the same distance, the same kind of adjustments that we did with the Uni 2. The real difference will be the microphone quality and what you're using it with. But based on what my computer is showing me, it's really responsive and it's picking my voice up really well. I did mention that the mute button is different. So I'm going to mute this and test this out and see if anything happens. I'm going to look at my laptop screen to see if it picks up anything. So during that test in Audacity, I didn't see any movement at all, even when I was tapping on the mic and whatever, but I guess I'll see that when I edit the video, if it picks up anything or not. But it looked like with this digital mute button, it just completely shut it off altogether. I'd like to give a shout out to Antline Audio for sending me more gaming mics to review for them. Obviously, they make a really high quality product. And if you'd like 10% off these mics, use my code BATPIXEL on their website. I'll have my affiliate link and their normal website link down below. Since we're dealing with different products here I thought it would be helpful for you if I went over the different pricing options. So the ModMic Uni 2 with the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary comes in at $60 USD whereas the ModMic USB 2 comes in at $90 USD. The Y adapter only comes in at $12 USD and that's for Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, Steam Deck, whatever you want to plug your 3.5 millimeter port into with a headphone cable. They do have a bunch of other accessories on their website that you can check out. I did mention the mod mic wireless that a lot of people use with VR, but like I said before, this does not have the upgrades of the mod mic 2 versions. So I thought it'd be worth mentioning that although this is popular, you might be able to save some money with the new upgrades because this comes in at $140. But hey, they do have a wireless mic and it might be the perfect option for you. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.